let's add a mesh where we're just going to start modeling. We're going to begin with the head. Shift A, come up here to mesh, and select a cube. If you can't see your cube, that's no problem. Just zoom out, and there it is. We're going to scale this down with S for scale, and then we're going to grab it with G and move it up on the Z axis, or Z, if you're one of those crazy Brits. Um, and now, we want, we want, I want to add more geometry. Right, you can see this cube, and this is transparent just because I hit Alt-Z. If you hit Alt-Z, it goes back to um, solid mode. Alt-Z again, it, it activates X-Ray. You can also do that up here. This is how we toggle X-Ray on and off. Um, so, with X-Ray on, it's fine. I'm come back here to get numpad 1. I come back in the front view, and I want to add some uh, geometry. And I'm going to do that in edit mode. Okay, so if up here... Your object mode, edit mode. You can also tab into edit mode. That's no problem. So the geometry that I have, right now I have a six-sided cube. Okay? And we can see that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Those are my six sides. That's not a lot of geometry. I want to add some more geometry. So I'm going to right-click and subdivide this SOB. And just like that, I have more geometry. Now, each face has been subdivided into four faces, but I want even more. So come down here, subdivide, number of cuts, and bump this up to Finsky. Let's give it a good old fiver, okay? And then we can uh, lock that in. Now we have some geometry. Now I want to get rid of half of this. So I'm going to select these right there, and then I'm going to hit delete. And get rid of those vertices. So I got one half of one face. And you might be thinking, Wolfman, what are you trying, what are you up to? What games are you playing? And the answer is, I don't want to work very hard at all. In fact, I only want to do half of the required work. And we're going to do that with a modifier. So we come over here to this wrench. Uh, we're going to add a modifier and we're going to add a mirror modifier right here. You know, and there you go. Now take a look. So if I mess with this, I just select this, these vertices right here. If I grab them, it's mirrored on the other side. You see, so now we only have to do one half of the work, and we get twice the result. Uh, super important, uh, clipping right here. So clipping is not on, which means if I take this vertex and grab it and cross into the other side, you can see there's some overlap right here. And this is, this is a headache. In the immortal words of the famed Hall of Fame Ghostbuster Egon Spangler, Crossing the streams is bad, Ray. Actually, I think Pete, Pete Venkman said that. Or maybe they both did. I don't know. I'm due for a rewash. That movie holds up. Okay, so I'm going to escape out of this and turn clipping on. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing. Hit G and look. Boom. It stops at the halfsies, at the midway, at the halfsy point. Just like that right there. Okay? Simple as that. So super important. Clipping is on on our mirror modifier. So now that we have our mirror modifier, let's add another modifier. Let's add a subdivision surface modifier. Um, but it's not as smooth as we want it to be. Let's make this more of an organic shape. And we're going to do that by smoothing the vertices. So in edit mode, right click, smooth vertices right here. And there you go. Now yours might not bump up. If yours doesn't look, oh look, see I got 40 down here. So if I can take this all the way back to 1. But you want to move it up right down here on the bottom left. Bump it up to 40, and now it's starting to look like a head, you know, which is which is a pretty neat thing. This can be finicky, so if you don't get it in the first pass, in the first go around, no problem. Take your time, delete it, and do it again if you need to, right? Mirror modifier, subdivision surface modifier, smooth vertices up to 40, and you should be right here with me, okay? Everybody doing good? Great, safe work. Let's grab this and scale this up so that it fits the size of our head, and we can scale this on the x-axis to kind of make it a little wider. Hit numpad 3 to go on the side view, and see we've got to move this on the y-axis. Might be able to scale this in a little bit. I like that too, so we want to scale this on the z. And kind of like that. This is, this is to taste, y'all. And then, let's come around and select, with, with face select, Let's select um, 
or snout or a snout would be. Right? Oh, my goodness gracious. You see, I selected it through because I got x-ray. With x-ray on, that'll happen. So turn x-ray off and you, you know, you lose the sight of what you had. So we can toggle this back. And maybe these two as well. So then this is going to be our snout area. In fact, we can toggle the lights right back on. That's cool. Um, let's hit E to extrude. And then just grab. Just what we're doing. All I'm doing is moving my mouse here. Okay? And so this is, or we, we have the formation of a snout happening. Now once you lock it in place, then you can just freewheel it and grab it up. I'm gonna, if you want to... I uh, keep it centered. You want to move it on the Z axis. So I'm going to bring this up on the Z like that. And then I'm going to grab it and bring it out on the Y a little bit more. And this is what we're, this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to line up the tip of the nose. So maybe a little bit more. We're trying to line up the tip of the nose uh, of our reference image with our model. Okay. Very nice. And now let's add some geometry to it. So hit Control R, and we're going to add some loop cuts. Now, if you only see a horizontal loop cut, just move your mouse until you get that vertical. And we don't just want one, we want like three or four. All I'm doing here is rolling my middle mouse button up, and I'm rolling it back down, and it adds more loop cuts. You do you know, four or five, whatever you need to, and then lock that into place. Uh, with a click and an enter. If you click, then you'll be able to move it. Once you enter, you've locked it. So now this is new geometry, which is pretty cool. Now, you know what we can do? This is, this is pretty fun. Um, let's come up here and select proportion editing. Just make sure vertex mode is selected. And I'm going to click this one right there. You can pick any one you want to. And now, I'm going to hit G. If you don't see anything, you see that little circle around my vertex? That's because I've, I've made my sphere of influence smaller. If you don't see anything, your sphere of influence is probably massive. So you need to roll your mouse wheel in, and you'll see something else. So now this means uh, everything inside uh, this circle is in my sphere of influence, which is just a bunch of stuff. I don't want that. I want a smaller sphere of influence. So I'm going to come in, and now we can just... Now we can, we can make the shapes we need to make uh, to create more of an organic shape. Okay, we can scroll this in. And now this kind of makes more of a, well, it's, it's, uh, it's a little bit more organic, if you will. All right, we can pull this, maybe this in the back, we can pull this out there, like that, here we can bring this up, All right, maybe something like that, and then even in the center here, we can bring this out, here we bring it down like that, right, and so this is, and now, do you see what we're, I hope, I hope I'm articulating this well enough. Because it, it is, it is loads of fun, and this is all doing. Let me just just eyeball on this here. Okay, let's do these two like that, and then where's my nose down here? Here we go. There's the tip of my nose. But this, let's grab, and bring this. So all I'm doing is bringing this in to make it more stout-like. And you can see, if I play with my mouse wheel, I can, now it's kind of, it's got like a, almost a little duck bill. And then by making the sphere of influence larger, you get, uh, you know, snoutish. It becomes snoutish. Snout-like. Okay, and we can do the same thing down here, right? We took care of this up here. Now let's do the same thing down here. We can grab that. And move that in. Let's pull these two in as well, right? Let's grab these and move those in. All I'm doing is just bullying my model to make it look to 
make it conform to some shapes. We'll build out that eyebrow. Oh, we're gonna have fun building out that eyebrow. Uh, you know, one thing we can do is we can actually tab into sculpt mode. We can turn, uh, hit uh, T. This opens up. And this is actually, so if you hit this one smooth right here, watch. All I did was drag that down. Do you see that? And it, so I'm gonna control Z back, and then I'm gonna control shift Z to bring it forward. And that is the power of smooth. Just like that, it's like, oh cool, yeah, that's that's much more of a snout. So like, this is the power of sculpting. I didn't add any more geometry. I'm only uh, messing with the geometry that, I, that we currently have, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump back in. I don't wanna spend too much time in um, in sculpt mode, because sculpt mode terrifies some people. So we're out of sculpt mode, okay? And we're back in edit mode. So let's come down here, and with face select, selected. Let's talk about your mode off. Let's select some bottom parts out of these three, and let's extrude down again, okay? And now we're gonna create this bottom part of the chin about right there. We need to widen this up a little bit more. So let's select these three. Go to front view. Maybe grab those like that. Kind of widening that up a little bit. Very nice. And here, let's select these three. And let's grab this out a little bit like that. Fill that out. Bottom part of the jowls. And then let's do the same for the jowls. And then we can just grab these. And there you go. And, and just like that, you got a little muzzle. You got a little muzzle happening. Okay, nice. Everybody save your work. Okay, let's jump back into sculpting mode. And then you can use draw up here if you want to. And, and you should actually. I'm going to turn it up. I'm going to turn x ray mode off just to see what draw does. And that adds a little bit more shape to what uh, what we were doing, right? It makes it a little bit more organic. So we come here, right? right? The nose stops about here, so let's bump this up right there, and then smooth this in, okay? So if we want to smooth again, we can come here, and that's how we smooth that out. But I made it a little too much, so maybe we gotta draw just just a scotch. And then if you if you want to do the inverse, you hit shift. So I'm just hitting shift click with draw, and it's kind of it's bringing it in. Okay. And you know while you definitely should have a stylus for this, it's not necessary. More of a, a brow line here, like that. So now, let's build out the neck. Okay, so let's jump back into edit mode. And kind of same thing as we had before with x-ray off. We're gonna come down here, and I'm gonna select some faces. Let's try these faces right here. And maybe a few back here, and that, okay? And then same thing as before, x to extrude. And like that, but also, and so now we can scale that out like that, and we're creating, you know, we're creating a, we got a big neck, you guys, massive neck, like a football neck. And then same thing as before, we're going to add some extra geometry, we're going to hit loop cut, control R to add some loop cuts, increase the amount of geometry with my wheel, and lock it into place with click, enter. Okay. And you can scale it uh, directionally as well. So you want to scale it just on the x-axis to give them a massive, you know, a, a very, a very large neck. You can do that. Um, I'm okay with that. We come here. I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna bring it out in front a little bit. Uh, so we'll go here. Maybe grab these and just grab these out, just to bring it out. Okay. That and then maybe one final vertex grab like that. 
and then we can pull this out back here and you see all I'm doing is proportional editing. We built this from the side and this looks great but from the front I got one of those you know my neck looks mortal but uh you know the neck the neck is a is a, is a substantive part of anyone's development and you can't skip it don't skip neck day full stop okay okay let's build out some ears with face selected you know what real quick just okay so forget let's add some more geometry right here with a loop cut control r and then add a little more right here bring that down a little bit just so when we build out the eye later, we have all the geometry we'll require. All right, so with face select selected, make an ear. So we're going to extrude like that, and then lock it, and then scale that in like that, and then grab it up. that and then check from the side I'm going to grab it back like that and this is all you can see guys I'm, I'm clearly eyeballing this yours doesn't have to look I invite yours to look way different from mine let's add some geometry here uh, with a couple of loop cuts control R mouse wheel up and then once we have that we can grab down grab it and bring it down Check it from the side. Okay, so now let's jump into sculpt mode. Push that back a little bit. Maybe bring this in. Okay. Make that up a little bit right there. And then I want to take this in and smooth this in. Because it's an ear that. So all I'm doing right here is grabbing the snake hook tool and just kind of making this go where I want it to. Snake hook tool can be your best friend uh, or your worst enemy, depending on how it's used. Right, and this is, I feel like this is further out like that. Maybe that comes up as well. Yeah, this whole thing comes up. Right? And all I'm doing is using snake hook tool kind of to grab the geometry and put it where where it, where, where it more accurately represents, right? Let's pull this you have your ear, uh, jump back into solid mode. So we want to shift click the whole edge loop and then go over here to edit. This is why we enabled loop tools at the very beginning. Okay, edit right here, loop tools, and then hit circle. Okay, and now there's some pretty nice geometry happening. I'm, I'm actually okay with that. Okay. I'm going to save my work with Control S and call that a bust. In the next one, uh, we'll build out the body. We'll start from here and we'll build out the body. So uh, get up, get a stretch, get a bend, and I will see you in the next one.